She was flying back to Detroit. Friends and family made their way to the airport to say goodbye to a relative suffering a sudden death. Oh, right. 67-year-old Olympia Warsaw made it to O'Hare. Family member Julian Coltia can't say the same for her luggage. She had to miss the first part of his funeral because she had to go get clothes. She has Parkinson's and diabetes. Through video chat, son Claude Coltia describes her challenges when traveling. Since she's disabled, she can barely walk. I walked with her all the way to her gate. She's on a bunch of different medications. She's has a hard time communicating. Confirm with the gate agent that uh, the flight was on time, everything's okay, and she said, yep, all's good, we'll take good care of your mom. Claude Coltillo says Friday after his father's funeral, his mom was set to head to Detroit. He would catch his flight shortly after. And I'm sure everything's okay. It wasn't, was it? It was not. And it turns out that her flight was canceled. The airline assigned a porter to take her back to the front, uh, at which point, um, they offered her a, a hotel room. But they weren't willing to take her and she's unable to find her own transportation. She has trouble communicating. Well, ma'am, uh, I have to go home. This is what the porter explained because my shift's done. And so I don't know how to help you anymore. And he left her there and she was crying and she was scared. She had actually had to find a random uh, passenger to help her out to go, just to go to the bathroom because the porters had already left for the night. When the 67-year-old didn't make it to Detroit, family began calling American Airlines. They say in addition to losing her bags on the way in, the airline lost track of her on the way out. Eventually, security helped family find her hours after. These images show her shortly after she was discovered still in a wheelchair, still dressed for her ex-husband's funeral. That's all we wanted was someone to pause and say, you know what, can we just make sure this human being is safe and then we, we can all go home. Not one person did that. I really think that they need to revisit their policies for dealing with the elderly, for dealing with the disabled.